How's it going you guys? We are back with another video and today's video is going to answer some of your guys' questions with the Rode Anvi uh, heads up display. So yes, today's video is all about putting on a reverse camera and uh, to be honest, any reverse camera really works because the Camry itself already has everything done. So that way when you do, all you have to do is just plug and play. So, I mean, and yeah, like he said, that one is specifically for the Camry. I mean, a lot of them, you just search up your year Camry and it just gives you everything. We'll get the link. But, yep, yeah, right now, all you have to, as of right now, you have to just take off this little carpet piece right here, take everything off, as well as this top little plastic with the Toyota emblem. <laughs> it brings a tool for it, which is and this. And it's held by one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, so. Six bolts. Don't, bolts. don't yank it off. <laughs> They're all right here. Yeah, you could grab them from back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. The hardest part is this this one in the middle. So there's like two small little tabs. Uh, like this this little tab that you're gonna wanna put in with like a, what? a pick or something. Whenever you go on the inside to make it easier to pull. Cause it's gonna feel like you have to pull a little bit too hard to take it out. And you break the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty cool to get carbon fiber. So you have to drill the hole right in the middle of the, right under the, the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's like right in the middle. The little driver? So the little driver? Mm -hmm. Not 100% sure. The one that goes on this one? Yeah. Yeah. No coming back after this. This rate is a, uh, is a, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, is it right in the middle? Almost, almost in the middle. Slightly off, but hey, we don't really need reverse camera. It's just to tell us how far away we are from uh, hitting the other car behind us. But my sister's getting this car, so she's gonna be using it, watch. Hopefully y'all uh, enjoy the way the camera looks now because once she gets done with it, it's not gonna look the same. Alrighty, putting on the camera, make sure that you put on your little uh, double-sided gasket. It has some double-sided tape right there. And then, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, hopefully when it gets close, it like, doesn't get. We're gonna try to push it in, yeah. Nope. He scrolled out the, the gasket. Dang, look what she did. That's <laughs> what I say. Don't do not do that and that's what it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it did. Huh? Who needs that gasket? Water just goes in there. Like, that looks pretty good. It looks like it came with the car. <laughs> we don't like making holes in the car. Uh, that sounded uh, painful. <laughs> but hey, this is just a step-by-step how-to. So as you guys just saw, make a hole, run the wire through. And yeah, we're missing the damn little light. Yeah, the cover came off. The One day it was there and the next day it was not. <laughs> there you go, pop that bad boy back in place. Look at that. Pretty good. <laughs> it does look really good right there. Next step, got to remove the seat, the little bottom Just seat. Pull it up. Pull it up. up. Take that bad boy out. 212. Down there. Oh, the 212 down here. Yeah, take these 212 down there. They go <coughs> one right here. Come right, right next to it. Yep. And then um, you can just pick up the on the seat. <coughs> We are following the harness from back here, obviously, to make it look nice and neat and make it look like it did belong with the car. So you're gonna run it right through there and follow the harness out here. <clears throat> All the way to the front. All right, so the wire for the camera has now been connected to the factory harness, or not connected, but zip tied going down the same path as the factory harness so down there all the way up in there and now we move on to the inside we're gonna run this chassis ground so i'm gonna put it 
on the ball for the strut. <clears throat> so that's what you're gonna go. You're gonna wrap it around and put the nut back on. So yeah, let's see. Oh, we'll see it from whenever he finishes. Oh, look at the spark on the Camry. That was pretty nice. We are now moving on to the next step. So you're gonna have to take off. Oh, he put it back. Yeah, just <laughs> obviously, so you can just grab it and pull it. And yeah, that's, grab, that's, pull, just and then that's pull. it. And for me, since I didn't really connect all of this, this? all I did because you said and you wanted to do the radio, so. you want to do this first? Mm -hmm. Okay, then just pull this up. That's it. <laughs> there, hold this. There, I um, think you go. Wait. Yeah, you have to take that off. It was a process when we first did it without especially knowing how to do it. We were just like, hey, well, this comes off. So. Where's the key? <coughs> Mimi has it, yeah. <laughs> There we go, slides off. Come on, don't let it defeat you. Yes, sir. And then this guy. You gotta lift it up, yeah, like that. <coughs> and it just slides right off. Yeah, just like that. We need a reverse R. One. Where's the antenna? <clears throat> this is aux cam one. Cam in. Mm -hmm. Cam in. Yeah, so let's try that. <clears throat> and then we need power for this. Power for that one? Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that cable that I'm seeing? What cable? The one for the antenna. The one for the antenna? Should yeah. Uh, psh, I don't even know. Alright guys, so we finally found out what we had to do. So we have this one wire from right here on this harness from the Road Envy uh, radio. You're going to connect the camera's power wire to this 12 volt, the CCD plus 12 volt, and then you have your camera in little wire right here that's where you're gonna plug it in and then once you do that you are good to put it in reverse give it a second and then there you go now you have a backup camera and the cool thing about this one is yeah put it in park let's say oh it's going to reverse All right oh it's going to reverse and when you turn your wheel it actually reads everything so this screen is pretty cool and then all we had to do was just plug one thing in and that's it and it does everything already we will put the link for the camera in the uh, description the below so you guys got another one and you but yeah super easy install you, you did not have to take none of this off just the radio and then run the wire back here and then get the power wire connect to the yellow and then that's easy simple as like that but yeah, none of this extra stuff. We we it's because on the instructions it says under the center console there's like a, a little ten pin. pin. Yeah, we can find but it. But we can't find that. So apparently that's the that's the connector that you need to connect to. That ten pin says ten pin cable, but we couldn't find that at so all. So it was story, so. so on for us because we have the screen. It was right here in the back with the harness. Oh so, yep, and just like that, we have backup camera. So now we gotta do just put the car back together and uh, yeah, that's it. Alrighty, so everything is now back together on the car. We finished up, uh, and we ran the wires through right here underneath all the plastics, things like that, and then up behind the dash into the radio area. Uh, for the ground, my dad did change where he was gonna put the ground. So remember how there was like a little like 14 millimeter bolt? He actually put it to one of the bolts right over here between the bolt and the washer. So that way it's just better. But either way, either or was still gonna work. He just, he just decided to do that. But yeah, so everything does work. And oh, so for the factory radio, yes, you actually can use. So look, we found actually the little 10 pin that we needed. So it was, <laughs> but I'm gonna go back and just outline exactly what you're supposed to be looking for. It was on the right corner. But yeah, that's what this pin goes to, to the factory radio. We don't have the factory radio. We have the Road Envy one. So even though what you just saw, what we just did, what we just connected the yellow to yellow and then the 12 volt for the power, you could just do that. And then as you guys just saw, it works and everything like that. And you're also able to adjust 
the camera and things like that so that's actually pretty cool with the screen you go just like the wheelbase it tells you everything like that wheelbase um i stood behind the car and we adjusted it the red line to let you know how close you are so i was like two feet behind the car and then we adjusted it to that and then from there pretty easy but like i said easy install nothing too much i mean we just had to do that one wire lots of running though so oh, you can't see me. lots of running through the car and things like that but overall nothing too hard so pretty simple stuff and if anything just go back through the video and see any and catch up what you have to do but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully i answered some of your guys's questions because yeah so i'll leave like we said we'll leave a link in the description for the camera so if you guys want to do it and then I'll use it on y'all's car. Like I said, you could use it on your factory radio because it brings this piece, or you could just do it on the aftermarket one, like the one that we have. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy today's videos. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to buy merch for the Corolla, things like that. It'll help us out and uh, keep you know keep us uploading some videos and things like that. You never know what we might do to the Matrix or things like that, or the Camry possibly, or maybe the Elantra. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, and I'll turn on post notifications if you guys don't want to miss a video of us working on none of these cars. But I'm Jan, there's Dad, and peace out.